Hi, welcome to the Gym Owners Podcast. I'm Anthony. And I'm Natalia. And guess who's here with me in the flesh? It's my counterpart, my New York pizza that's all the way across the other side of the country. And he's here in Vegas visiting us. So we're going to do a special Gym Owners Podcast today with my uh, fellow New Yorker right next to me. Yep. It's awesome. So. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So today we want to kind of go over pen and paper. Yeah. Um, you just had to deal with a customer or had an experience with a customer that was, how long were they running their gym by hand? Oh, they've been for like 10 years now. And they, uh, it's just a mom and son gym. And the, the mom basically is the front desk, the accountant, uh, the customer service rep. She does it all and she can't go anywhere or do anything because she's handcuffed to the gym. And so her son deals with the instruction and he deals with, um, you know, obviously teaching their, their members. But now she can't really, they can't grow their business because she's tapped out. She yep. can't do any more. She has, you know, I think around like 70 members, but um, they really, she can't manage more administration than that at the moment. Yep. So um, she's been kind of desperate looking for a way like, well, how am I going to travel if I have this going on at the gym? So, um, you know, she came to us just wondering, what is it that I can do to make my gym just run on its own, essentially? So. Well, even if she was a gym operator guru, you're going to max out at two, 300 members because there's only a certain point where it's to, it starts to become a revolving door. Yeah. When you're, and this usually happens with new gyms because you're looking for anything to cut cost, right? So usually some owners will say, well, I could just use Excel and just put the, num the, the payment information directly to my payment processor or a bank or whoever you're going to use for payment processing. Yeah. And it works okay for about 50 members. And then it starts getting harder because remember, onboarding, it just becomes so much more difficult. It's 10 steps to onboard a member where before you could just hand them a tablet, do your price presentation, say, well, out of these memberships, which best suit you, fill it out, take a picture, sign, you're done. And now when you're doing it by hand, you're putting them on Excel. You have to put them through whatever payment processor, whatever other sort of management that you're doing by hand, you have to put them in. Mm -hmm. And not that that's busy. You, a, a, an owner may be able to get that down, say, maybe 15, 20 minutes for a new member. Okay. Mm -hmm. Problem is when you have a new employee, how do you train them on 10 steps for every onboarding um, customer? And remember, with every step, there's a chance to make mistakes. So what ends up happening is owners end up uh, training the new employees on the minimum of tasks, which just means at the end of the day, they have to come back, fix whatever needs to be done, or finish all the rest of the steps to put the payment processing in or finish the membership agreement. So what ends up, you think, ends up saving you money mm -hmm. will end up costing you. Because I can tell you a gym with 80 to 200 members is working 10 times harder than a gym that just has software where it does everything. It's gonna cap, it's gonna know when there's declined payments, it's mm -hmm. gonna recharge, it's gonna onboard a member in two in two minutes instead of 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. You know, it just uh it it helps you pick up all the money that's that's laying on the ground. Yeah. It's kind of like if you were to have this like big pile of money. So Anthony is gonna do it with me. We're gonna hang on to all this money. And then we're gonna throw it in the air. Yeah, you're trying to catch whatever you and can you get. And you can't catch yes. it. What you can you catch? Yeah, and you so. can't. It's it's exactly true. You you're just trying. Your money's coming from the sky, and you're trying to catch it where it is. And there's a ton of money laying on the ground. Uh, it could be from if your gym does uh, contracts. You don't know when the contract's gonna end, and the membership just yeah. dies off. Uh, if you have a prepaid membership. You don't know when the prepaid ends. So now the prepaid just dies off. And because you don't have software, you don't have a check-in system that works with, with software. Mm -hmm. So now you have people that are probably their prepaid membership ended six months ago and they're still using your facility. Mm -hmm. So the other thing is, well, I could just hand run my gym until I'm ready for software. Still, it's, it's, it's better on paper than an actual experiencing it because let's say you do it, you're up to a hundred members now and you're like, okay, now I'm ready for software. Now, because you hand ran everything and you have to hand put everybody into that new software because you're not using a data dump. Mm -hmm. And if you put their payment information directly to your banking for processing, they're not going to release those credit card, debit cards, ACHs to you. So mm -hmm. now you have to call up those people to put them back into the new software that you're switching to. And trust me, 70% of your members are probably paying you and not using it. So 
you calling up somebody that is paying you and not using it, they're just going to say, hey, thanks for uh, reminding me of that. I'm paying for something I'm not using. Go ahead and cancel my membership. Yeah. So, you know, you want some, whether you use us, I mean, hopefully you use us, but if, whether you use us or anybody, you need software to help run your gym, especially if you have a goal of having 1,000, 2,000, 3,000 members. Mm-hmm. You need, even if you have 500 members, that's your goal. You need software to, to run your facility mm-hmm. so you can keep your profit as high as possible. You're not losing any money. Yeah, it doesn't. I think it doesn't even matter the size. I think even if you have 50 members, it's like just having software to help you run your gym is a wise decision because there's always room for human error. And that's what I think great about our software is that um, when I, when the woman that I was talking to showing her that we have this task system where, you know, it shows this credit card's going to decline. And so you have that reminder because we're human, we forget those things. So she thought that was the coolest thing. Well, wait a minute. And that would, if you were pen and paper, that would fall through the cracks. Wait, I have this credit card expired. She still takes a ton of cash payments, which it's like, if that person doesn't pay and she has several members or who, who are paying cash, she's going to have to call all of those versus if she has gym software, that credit card's on file. It's just going to run the payment automatically. Even if they wanted to pay cash, at least she would have recourse if they opted not to. So there's just kind of all of those um, it doesn't matter the size. It's just all of those different things that our minds can only remember so much, our to-do lists, our Excel spreadsheets, where this just kind of leaves you not having to worry about it. Well, the, and, and not to mention, you're not handcuffed to your gym. You want to take a vacation, you could take a vacation. Yeah. Just taking Sunday off doesn't feel like a vacation at that point because you can leave your gym for a week. And if anything goes nuclear, you can log in from your phone your or yeah. uh, computer, wherever you're at. Um you know, that's that's the other thing. And the, the other we uh, most of us got into this industry because we used to love working out. It was always a dream to own a gym. Right. Especially when pen and papering, because you're there all the time doing administration work. As soon as seven o'clock hits, six o'clock hits, you're like, I just want to get out of here. I don't even want the joy of working out is like lost on you. Oh. I promise you, you're getting software that helps you with those admin tasks. You will enjoy working out again mm, yeah. <laughs> and you'll take a vacation. Yeah. And you'll have so much more member retention. I mean, think about anything that you're doing to help your your customers. Um, it's going to take so much less time. They're happier as a result. Even just putting them in your system, it's something that, you know, probably the less time you, you have to interact with them uh, for an issue, the better, right? You want to resolve it and resolve it quickly so you have a happy customer and you, in turn, are more joyful as a result. So it's like it's like a win-win-win across the board when you get gym software. And like Anthony said, whether it was with Gym Insight or anyone for that matter, if you don't want to be a slave to your gym, you need to get gym software, pen and paper, old school, nobody does it anymore. And if you do, you're suffering because of it. So uh, we just highly recommend uh, kind of shifting into the the new, the 21st century. <laughs> Stop spending your time on admin tasks and focus it more on sales with growing your gym. Yeah, absolutely. So if you got anything from this video, it would be that um, you need to get gym software and you need to have a life and getting gym software will help you have a life and enjoy working out again. It will free up a lot of time. <laughs> yeah, and, and give you more money. Who doesn't want that? Woo-woo. So <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, do you have any closing thoughts? Uh, like I said, just free up your time on admin tasks so you can focus it more on growing the gym and focusing on sales. Yeah, for sure. All right. Well, um, I'm glad you guys stopped in. If you have any comments, questions, um, feel free to comment in the comment section below. We are, we're happy to answer those anytime. Um, and yeah, thanks for joining us today on the Gym Owners Podcast. Bye. Have a great day. Have a Bye. good day.